back to one bar and Lapagus. Show I'm Lapagus going solo again. I miss one bar so much. It hurts. Uh, today we're going to talk about players who performed at the Combine so well that they now move themselves up into consideration for the Vikings at pick 12. Before we get too into that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the viz. We are under 200 to go till we reach 6K. Cannot wait for that. All right, so who are some players who worked out the Combine so well that their, their stock is on the rise and they are now options for the Vikings at pick 12. All right, so let's start with the first guy. And that is going to be Kenny Pickett, the quarterback from Pitt. Malik Willis has probably worked himself out of the Vikings range. The Vikings do want to go quarterback route. Kenny Pickett did work out good enough uh, to warrant being considered at pick 12. Look at his 40-yard dash, a 473. This guy has a lot of tape of him taking off, making plays with his legs. 33 and a half inch vertical jump, 121 inch broad jump, 6'3, 217 pounds. Yes, he's got wee little hands on him, but the guy can throw the football. He looked very good throwing the ball in the drills. He's got a ton of experience. Um, probably he's widely considered the most pro-ready quarterback in the entire draft. So his workout, his tape, his production, you can make the case that the Vikings could go that route at pick 12. Obviously, they'd have to trade Kirk Cousins. I don't think they're going quarterback at 12 with keeping Cousins on the team. Now with what happened with Aaron Rodgers, Will Kirk Cousins' trade market heat up? That is definitely something that could happen. So the Vikings could make a case. I'm not saying I do it, but the case could be made after his workout that Kenny Pickett is now an option for the Vikings at pick 12. Let's go over to a position that's probably less likely the Vikings are going to address, but you could go BPA here. And wide receiver is something the Vikings could do. It. Adam Thielen, his future with the team is up in the air at this point. Even without Adam Thielen, you probably could be okay waiting to address the wide receiver position or letting it go altogether. You got Jefferson, obviously, K.J. Osborne, Amir Smith, Marset. We don't know what B.C. Johnson's future is going to be like, but you do have some options there. But let's look at Chris Olave, the wide receiver from Ohio State. Six foot, even 187 pounds, blazing 4.3940. Caught everything in sight at the combine. Looks smooth, uh, ran beautiful, sexy ass routes. Super productive at Ohio State. Uh, really one of the top receivers heading into this whole entire draft. Kind of took a backseat as Drake London, Traylon Burks were starting to get a little more love. But Chris Olave said, Hey guys, don't forget about me. And he, um, he let it all hang out. And had a great combine. So Vikings, if they're sitting there 12, don't like the cornerbacks, don't like the outside linebackers, truly going BPA, Chris Olave could be that guy for the Minnesota Vikings. I don't think it would be a pick they would regret two, three years down the road at all. Chris Olave, I think he's got a very bright future in the league. Let's go to another guy, a big guy, another position that's probably not one the Vikings are going to really target at 12. But if he's there and is the best player available, maybe they pull the trigger. Uh, Jordan Davis, the big, beefy defensive tackle from Georgia. Again, look at Kwesi Odafo Mensa's background. Coming from teams that built through the trenches, he could mimic that approach. That approach could be in his DNA. And what better way to build through the ten trenches and get in this mammoth of a man, 6'6", 341 pounds, 34-inch arms, 4.78, 40-yard dash. 4.78, 40-yard dash. That is insane. Uh, the, the fear with Jordan Davis, you know, I was actually a guy heading into the combine. I would have been fine with him at 12 before all this. Uh, there was talk he was just going to be a two-down run stuffer, I'll only see the fields and running situations. He blew all that talk out of the water. Uh, this guy can collapse pockets. He showed great lower body explosion. His mobility, agility, laterally, vertically, horizontally was, was off the charts, really. This guy can move. And he got in shape for the combine. It shows he's motivated to be great. Uh, I love me some Jordan Davis. That would not be one bit upset if the Vikings went that way 12. I think he's very much in the mix now. I don't think he ever really was out of the mix. Uh, but now I think he definitely is a uh, pretty serious option for the Vikings at 12, assuming there's no good corners there and the outside linebackers are kind of picked through. Uh, another player who's just had a great draft season, probably one of the best draft seasons of any prospect in the draft. That's Zion Johnson, the guard from Boston College. 6'3", 312 pounds, uh, 5.18, 40-yard dash. Not the best. We look at his three-cone and his 20-yard his shuttle, 4'4", 6", 7'3", 8". Put up 32 reps on the bench, 32-inch vertical jump, 
112 inch broad jump. So he's got some lower body explosion, some lower body power. This dude can anchor. I think he closed the gap on Kenyon Green quite a bit. Maybe even, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the first interior offensive lineman off the board, not named Tyler Linderbaum. Maybe, hell, maybe he goes ahead of Tyler Linderbaum. Who knows? Uh, again, the Vikings sitting at 12. It's probably early to go a guard, especially a guy like Zion Johnson. But again, if you don't like what you see, maybe you go BPA if he's truly the BPA or at least the guy you think you can get the most run out of in year one, who's an instant starter, can upgrade your team right off the bat. Maybe you roll the dice on a Zion Johnson at 12. Worst case, he's definitely in the mix for a little bit of a trade down and look for him maybe in the late teens or early 20s. Last guy, the last guy the Vikings should be looking at, uh, who I believe moved himself into consideration at pick 12, is the safety out of Michigan, Dax Hill, just like I predicted in my prediction video. Six foot on the money, 191 pounds, 32 and a quarter inch arms, 438, 40 yard dash, 33 and a half vertical jump, 121 broad jump. 6573 cone. Uh, this kid is explosive in it show down there in the drills. He flies the football. He attacks. He is nuts. Um, I think he's a great match to put next to Cam Bynum in the Viking secondary for the future. A little more physical. He's more of your attacking safety. I think Bynum could be more of your coverage safety. That would be a great back end for the Vikings. Uh, Dax Hill balled out at the combine. No real surprise. He's a guy, he's going in the first round. The question is where. Would he get all the way up to 12? It's probably a reach, more probably a, a trade back option for the Vikings. But crazy things happen. This is why we watch the draft. We don't know who's going to go where, how these players are ranked, how teams view them, how they think of national rankings that are out. So Dax Hill, if he went to the Vikings at 12, do not be one bit surprised. It's definitely a possibility uh, that this Michigan Wolverine could be coming home to the purple. All right, guys, those are my five prospects who have performed their way into consideration in the pick 12 um, from the combine. Let me know who else you got. There's a lot of guys who really balled out, showed well, especially on the defensive side of the football. So drop them in the comments. And until then, keep your skull in your hole.